Good old fashioned spaghetti with tomato sauce is a salad. No, 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 no. Is spaghetti a salad? The answer is no. Do you agree that a traditional pasta salad is a salad? I 100% agree that a pasta salad is a salad, specifically and arguably because one dresses a salad. And if a pasta salad is dressed, then it's a salad. If it's sauced, then it's a pasta. And what exactly is the difference between a dressing and a sauce? A dressing, for the most part, is vinegar-based, unless it happens to be dairy-based, whereas a sauce tends to be savory in nature, but not acidulated. Wait, wait, hold on. I need to look that word up in the dictionary. Acidulated. I, no I have no idea what that means. <laughs> um, Does it mean like it has it acid means quite, in it? Quite, yeah, quite acidic. So acidulated is just a really pretentious way of <laughs> yeah, saying, saying acidic. It's, it's acidic, yeah. <laughs> like it's got salad dressing on it <laughs> and not sauce. Just because something has some wet sauce over it makes it a salad. It's an erroneous claim because if I just arbitrarily labeled whatever food stuff I wanted with whatever label, my customer ordering a salad and confronted with pasta and spaghetti sauce would be irate. I'll grant you that people don't commonly call spaghetti and meatballs a salad. But times change. I may just be a little bit ahead of my time. Okay, maybe I was sent here from the future. You think that these are the salad days? I think that we're headed to the we're salad days the as salad soon as people days. start calling spaghetti and meatballs a salad. Well, we're constantly trying to become more and more healthy. The more that we can shove into that salad category, the better I can feel about myself, the happier I'll be. So I want to thank you, really, for making spaghetti into a salad so that I can eat it with abandon. You look like a very healthy meatball sub. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> if you like this video, please check out my podcast. It's called The Sporkful. We like to say it's not for foodies, it's for eaters. Subscribe today wherever you get your podcasts.